Today, we're going to learn how to edit your submission form. The first area we're gonna to go to is Customization Submission Builder, and this is where your submission form is housed. What you'll simply do is click Edit on the far right-hand side, and you'll be led to the content. Mind you, within Reviewer, all you can do is update text and also update your multiple choice options, as well as adjust where your questions may lay. But if you do need to add or remove questions, you will need to submit a support ticket to support at reviewer.com. If you are wanting to preview your form, you can click preview in the upper right hand corner and go through the form. Now, mind you, it's not as pretty as our normal applicant view, but it does get the point across so you can see the, the data that's being presented. You can click exit. Whenever you're ready to view within specific sections, you can hit the little blue bar with the down arrow and it'll expand and show you what is within that section. When you are ready to edit a specific section, you'll hit the little gray pencil and it'll highlight blue. If you would like to preview what the applicant sees, you can hit the preview button. If you are wanting to update an HTML, you can edit the text listed here just by simply coming in and utilizing this information. If you are wanting to update a radio button, drop down, or checkbox option, they all function the same, they just display differently. So if you did want to add an option, click add. What you'll do is put in the name. The name is what the applicant sees and the programmatic name is what we see. If so, you can just duplicate it. If you did wanna make it a default choice, you can and hit save. If you are wanting to adjust the basic layout and where they're laying in the system and the order, you can click the up and down arrows to make that adjustment. If you're wanting to update the text, click edit and you can update the name that your applicant sees and how it's presented. If you are wanting to remove a multiple choice option, you can click remove, hit okay, and it'll delete it from those options. Once you're done making any edits or changes to your choices or text, you'll hit the preview button, make sure your changes have reflected, and hit back. If you did want to adjust the order of your questions, let's say <clears throat> you did want your nomination information above your nominee, you can always drag it and place it above that question. So this will help. Now, mind you, if you did end up having, let's say, a specific question that you would like moved from this section to your nominee information section, you will have to submit a support ticket. But other than that, that is how you edit our form. The only other form area that I did wanna show you is the file option. They do have a prompt label, which is what the applicant sees. And if you did want to adjust the kilobytes, which is the maximum amount of file size we will accept for that file that's being submitted, you can adjust that here as well. Again, once you're done, hit preview and hit back. If you would like to preview and go over your entire edit system, you can. And once you're fully done making your edits, you will hit close and our system will auto save your changes.